Welcome to the world of Belle Epoque, the magical world of 1902 in Paris at the Salon Maxime's where anything can happen. Men and women in love, out of love, a little French, a little Italian, a little German, a little English. The tip. What I really appreciate in this uh, production is uh, it's a good mixture of friendship between the camaraderie, friendship between all the participants, whether you are the pianist taking the picture, the singer, the metteur en scène. So we can laugh, we can appreciate each other, but also at the same time it's very professional. I mean, you don't, nobody has, you don't, uh, don't have a whole orchestra to hide behind, or you don't have all wine bang uh, multimedia effects also to hide behind. So everybody is quite exposed, mm -hmm. uh, artistically speaking. So that, that's where it's important that we all uh, help each other. And then I have a few lines to say, and I find it quite uh, a challenge, <laughs> but they're very supportive, and so, so it's fun. The solution to your family and to regain regaining of your fortune is obvious, isn't it? Is it your first musical comedy? No, no, I, I trained um, at a very, um, I was lucky to train at a very good school, um, drama school, um, for three years in musical theatre. Um, so we did singing, acting and dancing for for a long time, for every, every day for three years. And then um, I worked professionally as a performer in, in Australia for, I don't know, about five years. And then have been directing or music directing or managing ever since been in Australia for a few years and then I moved to Singapore three years ago so I mean I work predominantly as a director or a vocal coach occasionally you can entice me back on the stage but but I mean this is very small in this part so I've taken the role of director. I think that people always make make a, a, a performance make a production and it's been wonderful to work with um, us media and also the other people who've come on board they've been really great and they come from such um, vast backgrounds you know some are Italian, some French, some you know, from all over, some Singaporean, I'm Australian, um, and that's been really wonderful to learn different backgrounds and different styles of performance. Um, it's been both challenging but also very rewarding. After five years activity from Arts Media as a freelance consultant for arts and uh, shows and artistic events in this town, we have decided to step into production and Belle Epoque is our first, very first own production. We are very proud of it. What are the next projects of uh, House Media for the future? The project will be to uh, to bring some of his troops uh, in Singapore because this is our ancient role at the same time. And then we have two very challenging projects that we have already yes. support from some uh, companies here in Singapore. And uh, we won't reveal any name there, but it should be very nice in April and maybe one in October. Yeah, the one in yeah. April that Isabel is mentioning is something that's going to shake different. a little bit the cultural scene because it's very, very innovative. But we, we won't keep be the able secret. Yeah, nice. And the third hat is the educational one because we always uh, provide educational services to the schools and the cultural institutions in Singapore and we will never forget this. It's also important to us. And how do you feel just one hour before? How do Perfect. you feel now? I want to go to my mother. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm very, no. very excited. Yeah. I've been, we've we've been, been dying for so that long. day actually. Yeah, we've been yeah. working so long and now we just want to do it. 
Yeah. Just go. We have two challenging days, but two very great days. Oh.